What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Your boy, DC Chaku, back again for another video. Hi, everybody doing? Happy holidays, Christmas is upon us, New Year's coming up, you know, it's good times, good times. But what's even better is this past weekend, the Junk Festa 2014, you know, kicked off what would be probably or is the most revolutionary or maybe not revolutionary, but probably the biggest impact in Japanese gaming in a long time. Particularly anime titles. This Jump Festa is just incredible. I mean, we saw Storm 4, Mean Demo, new trailer for that. Looks pretty good. I didn't pick a revolution, as you guys know. Uh, Storm 4, this was Simple Facts' last one it's on PS4. I'm hoping they finally deliver because it's, I mean, like, Storm was never a bad game, but it was never different enough or had enough features for me to. Justify picking up every year. Um, so I don't know. I'm more like I'm picked that one up. You know, PS4. They have more power. They have more resources and everything. It's only next gen. They cut last gen. So PS4, Xbox One, PC. So they should be able to definitely do what the game needs to have done. You know, revamp the battle system, add new features. You know, bring some features back. You know, extend the story. You know, obviously from the trailer. They showed uh, Naruto and Sasuke, you know, the very last fight. Uh, spoiler alert, you know, in the manga and everything, and that's the end of the series. Uh, so yeah, it looks like it's going, to, it's going to go all the way through, and they tease via scans uh, adult Naruto from the last Naruto the movie. So we might have adult costumes or adult. Uh, there might be his own character model uh, for this game. Or it might be other characters as well. We don't know. So more likely, I, I doubt, highly doubt, they'll show a scan of him. He's not going to be some in the game somewhere down the line. You know, as a character, a playable character, or you know, maybe some kind of original animation, including the adult versions in the movie or something like that. Uh, you know, animated film with a disc or something like that. I kind of like what they have the uh, Itachi and Sasuke thing. Um, don't know for sure. We'll see. But I digress. So we also have Final Fantasy 15, which looks incredible. And I, anybody who knows me knows I'm not a Final Fantasy guy at all, really. You know, I like RPGs to an extent and everything, but turn-based style just doesn't really interest me no more personally. That whole style, it's just I don't care for it anymore. And this one, like, is finally gonna be the first real-time action game, like adventure game, in Final Fantasy series. You know, the combat looks good. The graphics are fucking amazing. Um, so I, I mean, I mean, any game, any, any game took a whole decade to come out. I mean, a whole generation. Like they, they literally like announced that bad boy, in like twenty, no, twelve or six. You know what I'm saying? When PS3 was, you know, first debut. Well, E3 2006 before PS3 even came out and shit. And they finally look like they're, you know, making some real headway with the game and finally just announced the game after all this time last year. And now we see. You know, we saw some some gameplay last year and looked good, but this year, man, shh, that game is looking nice. If it actually comes out looking like that and playing as good as it looks, if not better, by the time he finished the full product, yeah, that will definitely probably be the first Final Fantasy game I ever buy, <laughs> like, real talk. So, One Piece, Pirate Warriors 3. I am not a One Piece one Piece fan, as you guys know, I do not personally care for the anime. I've tried to watch it multiple times, and yeah, I know every character gets shine. You know, it's very unique, it's different, blah, blah, blah. I just don't care, okay? I'm sorry. But, for my One Piece fans, and for my anime fans, if you guys are anime fans, you know, shout out to y'all that getting, you know, a new game. And I understand it's a Dynasty Warriors game, uh, gameplay style, which is pretty cool, because I'm a Dynasty Warriors fan, but a lot of people don't like that. I wish it was something more like Storm or Dragon Ball Z, you know, you know, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, so we're going to leave it at that. But what you all have been waiting for, finally, 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 J-Star's victory versus has been confirmed on North America release and Europe, in Europe as well, summer 2015 on PS3, PS Vita, which you all knew, same way it was in March. 
on the PS4 as well. And J-Star Victory, J-Star's Victory versus Plus, it has an arcade mode. I'm not sure what else is going to add, if anything. But, hey, extra mode is, is, is cool. I'm, I'm down with that for the same price. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, so the game looks like it will be from everything I've read and what I'm hearing, um, English subtitles and everything, and uh, Japanese voices, which I'm fine with that. I mean, yeah, I really wish I could get English dubs. You know, I would love to be able to hear Justin Cook as USK and Sean Seymour as Goku and everything of that nature. That would be amazing. That would be like jizzing your pants even more. <laughs> you know what I mean? But hey, the game's over here. It's gonna be in the English. I'm fine. Hell, fuck it. You know, we got it. That's all that really matters. When you're dubbing and stuff, there's a whole lot more complications and paying people out more money and things of that nature. So, I'm hoping in the future, though, that we can get to that level. We can get these these crossover games dubbed, with full dub, you know, like, like any license, you know, anime game. You know, I, I will really hope in the future we can get these games dubbed, uh, you know, a dub option. Because, you know, we're getting them, we, get, we are getting them, which is very good. I'm, I'm happy to see the industry is sh shifting. And people are getting games. We got Saint Seiya's, Saint Seiya uh, Bravest Soldiers, you know, only on PSN, the network, or whatever. But it did come over here, you know, with localization with the subtitles and everything, which is pretty cool, which isn't a bad game, which I recommend you check out if you haven't done it. That's also made by Dimps. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's looking pretty good. Uh, uh, the game, it, the, the, the industry in general is looking better. Yakuza 5 got announced, uh, the PlayStation Experience, you know. Um, Dead Souls, it was a Dead Souls, and it was another one, I believe it was. But you know, the, the Japanese seem like they're listening, the Japanese seem like they're taking this back to the top. New Dragon Quest is coming out only on Play, you know, only on PlayStation. It's looking good. I mean, let's not forget uh, that Dragon Ball Universe trailer. That looks amazing. Like Dragon Ball Universe is looking like that's about to be that game. It's looking really, really good. I mean, from what I've seen and played personally in the beta build, you know, the alpha, to what I've seen now. Man, big stats, big leaps, man. So I'm looking forward to that. A lot of other fans are looking forward to that. It's looking good. The anime industry, uh, game-wise, is looking good. The Japanese like they're really trying to take this back to where it used to be. The PS4 is becoming the re the PS2 reincarnated. You got I mean, the new Dragon Quest. I mean, man, it's it's, it's looking great. You know, so we coded one and two on Vita. Oh, you, big ups, big ups. But that's it for me, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later. Peace.